I think it's time for a challenge. Can we finish this painting and make it as detailed as possible in just four hours? This is the challenge. It's only a small painting. Um, it's seven by five, so shouldn't take that long really. But the trick is, can we get it detailed? enough in that time. So that is my challenge to myself today. And I'm going to give you a few hints and tips as I go. So I've been working on the trees in this painting, now I'm going to move over to the water and I'm going to give you just a few little hints and tips as we go. So at the moment we have the block in here, we're going to be obviously painting over the top of that, but we have in the blocking an obvious um, line between having the, the reflection of sky uh, and the reflection of the trees. Now we need to kind of lose that a little bit by getting a lot more movement in this water. So let's do that now. Now, one of the brushes we are going to use to start off with is the, this is the Coma brush, the Series 5 size 3 8, available from my website. So what I'm going to do is start to now work on some horizontals. And move in those little brush marks into the, the uh, lighter blue sky reflections. So just not covering over the whole thing but I'm going to go over most of the dark areas with this technique. Now in order to get this paint to flow properly I've added some linseed oil, some refined linseed oil. And then as we move across here, I'm going to add more, more of a green, so I'm lightening up the mixture of paint. I'm going to use the same brush now. I'm just going to break up these ripples here a little bit more by adding some darker tones.
to continue moving away from that main body of ripple there. So my plan is to lose the hard edge where we have the um, darker reflections and the lighter reflection of the sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the darks into the area of sky and then I'll bring the sky ripples into the darks. And I'm going to do that now with the Rigger Series 1, Size 1. So now we have added some of the darks into that. There's still more of that to do, I think, but now I'm gonna start adding some of the light reflection, the sky reflection into the darks. So there we go, that is that painting finished. Um, it just goes to show that if you um, have the right tools and the right techniques, you can create something that's pretty photorealistic in a very short space of time. <clears throat> this has taken about four hours, so I think that's pretty good. Um, all of the um, brushes that I've used in this video are available um, in the description below. And actually, um, I'm gonna give a discount of 20% 
off of the rigger brush and the coma brush um, for the next um, the next 100 people that go in and buy. So um, be sure to go and get those at a discount um, as soon as you can. Um, also, just last mention, MJS TV is an online painting school of mine. There are over 60, almost actually 70 lessons available on there. Um, it's all filmed in real time with instruction throughout, the block in, everything. There's no time lapse, nothing is missed. So also go and check that out. Link is in the description as well. Well, anyway, finished talking. Hope you enjoyed that. I did too, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.